Uh, are we live? Waiting for YouTube to confirm. Waiting. Well, why are my hands so dirty? Can't be streaming with dirty hands. So, so amateur. Uh, anyways, welcome to the stream. I have, I'm eating chips. I also have wine. I find it uh, helps to be drunk while programming. And full of chips. Go. We're resuming work on the Godot multiplayer FPS. Because after a long day of programming, I love a long night of programming. Uh, fun games. It's kind of different. It's like how you have like a, oh shit. Accidentally opened Discord randomly. Um, it's kind of like how you have a dessert stomach and you can eat dessert even when you're full. That's like programming games. If you don't do it for your job at night, you can just like uh, program extra. Like I'm so fucking tired of programming today, but I'm actually like jazzed on working on this, to work on this. And drink wine. I do like wine. Drinking wine from this dirty cup that had hot chocolate in it. Um, luckily chocolate and red wine go well together. And so does laziness. Okay. Uh, let me remember what, where we're at here. Um, the game has music, so this might be a little odd. Uh, okay, let's see here. To have the music going on YouTube and in the game. So here's kind of where we're at. I added, what the fuck is that? Okay, so we have a mysterious cylinder now, apparently. I added sound effects for adding and removing the bricks while no one was watching. Pretty exciting stuff, I know. Uh, I should add footsteps. Oh god, I'm stuck in the bricks. I should probably make it so you can't shoot bricks that close to yourself, but whatever. Do that later. Jump up and do this if you want. Pretty cool. Uh, so today, what <clears throat> what I want to do, I watched a couple of videos earlier today on Godot um, level building uh, to try and figure out how people make levels and worlds like quicker than my garbage way of doing it. And there are ways to do it that are much better. So we'll be investigating those. Uh, I'd like to say a big hello to all of my zero viewers. Did that say one and then switch? Get back here. Get back here and learn. Um, like People like Pirate Software have like 80 million streamers. You think you could give me like 10, 10 viewers, not streamers. That'd be weird if there are 80 million streamers on some streamer's channel. Like Inception, streamer Inception. You think you could be at least 10 people to witness the greatness of this video game? Or even just to watch me eat chips. Well, even if it's just like, it's like, this is the ultimate Twitch stream. It's a mukbang while I program a game and drink wine. It's like everything in one. So, get into it. Okay, rent over. Um, I guess first we'll try the level stuff. And what we need from the level stuff is assets. There's something called a tile map 3D that lets you apparently like, why is this so gigantic? Um, platformer kit. Wait, is this also interesting? Why are these ones octagons? I guess we'll just go for the platformer kit. That seems safe. I like looking at this stuff though. Everybody loves like weird pixely art kind of stuff. We could just throw that on our platformer kit thing. I will never donate to you. Just kidding. One day I will. If I complete this game, I'll give Kenny 10 bucks. How about that? Um, Cause that's like 
a crazy amount of work. I wonder how many people actually make that. I wonder if it's actually one person or um, a whole bunch. I actually get. I actually do the same thing. I like uh, on my weird. Uh, I have a weird company that does audio stuff. This website's a million years old. Um, and like, there's a lot of free stuff on it as well. So I'm not as cool as Kenny, but I'm close. This is for people that like audio and recording and, and whatnot. I have lots of free stuff. Yay. Some of this took a seriously long time to make as well. Um, so I appreciate everything that Kenny has done for us. Kenny is a saint, arguably the greatest person to ever exist. Kenny, platformer kit. One thing that's really nice about this is a lot of times when you get free assets, they're not actually like laid out really well. Like the formatting of it is like not perfect or like they're not all centered or everything, but all the Kenny stuff seems to be like exactly bang on for like anything you'd ever, uh, need it's just like it's really well made it's like it's actually made by someone who makes games i'm not sure what format we want the one thing that i think would be cool and i don't know why they don't do it is like why not provide the original format like is it was it, if it's an autodesk or blender just like provide the blender version that would be cool um, i don't know if i'd actually be using it anyway in this case but uh okay i do not know how to do this i saw a video uh, it's like a two minute video about six hours ago on how to do this um so there's two options i could wing it which i think would be funny and entertaining and see if i get it however there's no one watching anyway so well, is there? Let's go on YouTube. Oh, hey, look, there's somebody. I love you. Don't leave for at least 13 hours. Okay. Um, so, well, I, I'll, I'll look it up. Let's see. Go to 3D tile map. So this will be really handy because this is what I was complaining about. Most of the things, remember in the stream that I don't really use Godot much, so all of my complaints are basically wrong because I just don't know what the tooling does. That apparently there is like um, tooling that basically does what I was complaining about. Um, you know, the complaints are still valid in some ways, but like this should make it a lot easier what we're trying to do here. Um, I think this is the one. Do you like my so sweet ad skipper? Like while streaming to YouTube using an ad skipper, I wonder if they'll just like watch my stream. Well, then I'll have more viewers. Perfect. Everyone at YouTube, look, I'm using an ad skipper. Watch my stream to confirm to confirm, and then ban my account. Um, we just then they have to watch my stream. Uh, so basically, there's a way you can import. Wait, he's using GLB. What am I using? What did I import? I think I did GLB, didn't I? Yeah, good. Okay. Then drag all of the mesh files into it. Is that a new scene? Create a mesh library out of the meshes. Create a new scene. Okay, let's just follow this guy. This guy seems like he knows what he's doing. Oh, cool. That's how you make a new scene. I literally did not know that. Tiles. Oh, spelled it wrong. Looking like a real dick on my stream. Um, There we go. I drag these up and then profit. Perfect. Uh oh, oh, I probably, I probably do need to save it. Let's just save it. Tiles. Did I do this right? Tiles. Probably should rename it. Tiles. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then there's something like a tile map you add after. Then drag all of the mesh files into it. They are all going to be stacked on top of each other in the scene, but it doesn't matter for the mesh library because it separates them into their own tiles. Click on the scene drop down and select export mesh library. Choose a file name and click. Okay. Export as mesh library. Models. Tiles. Yay. 
We should basically be able to paint a level Excited. after this. This which gives will be us nice. a mesh library resource that we can then use in a grid map. So let's go back to the game scene and add a new grid. Yay. I don't know if I actually needed to save that uh save that or not. I wonder if my viewer's still here. How loyal is this viewer? Oh you fucker. You didn't even last a minute. This, they have no um no loyalty, these uh, stream viewers. If I had every single person that watched this stream return, I think I would only have still 40 people, which is kind of scary. Which is kind of weird, because it is one of the best uh, streams that exists. Uh, pretty obviously. So, now, did he just... Drag the tile map into grid map node. Then we can yeah grid map. <laughs> grid map. Do we just select the mesh library? I like that I can't click it. That's interesting. What in the actual fuck is happening? I think my computer just had like a, some kind of spasm. Hey, look, we have shit. Ah, perfect. They're not the right size for the grid. Love that. Going to have to fix this. Hey, that seems good. This is a good thing that's happened to us. Things are really looking up. What? What? Oh, amazing. Um, how do I go up? Oh, shit. Well, that's... How do I... How do I go up and down a layer? Also, like, does this have... A, is this a physics object? I hope so. Let's see, what, let's see if we can jump on this or like what this actually is. Okay, it's not a physics object. So I'm going to hope that they explain that. Drag our mesh library into the corresponding resource and by arrow by You're placing the tiles so you might find it individual. Just one mesh at a time, I turn off the visibility on the whole list and find the one I want to edit. The meshes have no 3Ds as parents in this case, so to have access to the meshes themselves, make sure to right click on the nodes and select make local. To have access to the material, as the mesh again and then the mesh oh dear child God. of the mesh for collisions. For a fast collision shape, you can click on the mesh again and then the mesh drop down, select create single convex collision sibling. Mesh libraries ignore all of the nodes except the mesh itself and the collision shape, so don't try to add any complex logic in here. When you're ha happy with the changes, export the library again, but choose to make our entire level disappear. It's going to be fine. So that that's okay. good. Um... Those grid maps. Is there not a different way to do that that's less annoying? Probably not. It probably has to be done that way, doesn't it? Um, hmm. Going to doubt that you can just like do something like this and like do something crazy. Um, probably have to do kind of what he showed there. Good thing I did save this tile scene. Um, what is that block called that I used in world? What are you called? You are block. Well, that's a great name for it. Just block. And we'll go tiles and we'll find block. Block two. Why is everything named two? Did I import everything twice? Did I make a horrible mistake? Okay, well here's block anyway. So they said you had to reparent it to a new node of node 3D and then you have to add the collision? And 
Well, it's the way you do the, you build the collider from the... So to have access to the meshes themselves, make sure to right click on the nodes and select make work. Easy to work with just one mesh at a time. I turn off the visibility on the whole list in this case. So to have access to the mesh, 3Ds as parents in this case. So to have access to the meshes themselves, make sure to right click on the nodes and select make work. To the material you want the body as the child of the mesh for collisions. For a fast collision, after we change the you want to right click on it and click the motion shape you can click on the mesh again and then the mesh drop down to right click on the node in this case so to have access to have node 3ds as parents in this case so to have access to the meshes themselves me i don't think i did any of this right uh go back to the way you were make local block Collision shape was it? Okay, now what's that weird command that everyone keeps doing? Static body three D single convex and that's okay. Mesh. Okay, that seems overly complicated and a little wrong. Can I just do like a box? Mm. There's no way to just. Oh, that's not what we want. Uh, there's no way to just do like a, a box? Outline. Mesh. Oh, dear God. All right, I guess that's what we'll have to do. It's quite, uh, well, I guess it works. Don't really see, wait. Mm. And then what's the next one? So static body 3D, wait. Static body 3D, collision shape 3D. Just export the library again, complex logic in here. When you're happy with the changes, export the following mesh library mesh again. Body as the child of the mesh for collisions. For a fast collision shape, you can click on the mesh again Static and then the mesh 3D. drop down, select create single. Okay, well, we should be getting somewhere. Okay, where's that export mesh library thing? Okay, they said it doesn't like when you replace it, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Haha, -ha, victory, maybe. All right, so if we did that right, these will all, we'll be able to impact all these. Oh, it's work. It's, is it working? Yes, it's just working. Okay, so that's like a massive win. Now we can make a level. As soon as I figure out how you actually like go up and down kind of with this thing. Also, that's gonna be annoying to do that um, mesh process on everything. So I'm gonna eat more chips to soothe my rage of having to do that mesh thing for every single model that I use. Hmm. Hmm. How is the average view duration 19 minutes if there's no one watching? So confused. Well, if you are out there, people, I hope your day is going well. And you're 
learning how to make your own amazing Godot games. Okay. Going back to the grid map. Now trying to figure out how How do I place things? Like, what's the... Page down, page up, up, down. Like, it's cool you can do that, but I don't understand how I do this. It does have its own collision layer. Oh, physics material. That could be interesting. All right, I'm gonna quickly Google how to uh, Oh, there it is. Control plus mouse wheel. As you would expect. Just kidding. Who would expect that? That's crazy. Um, where did I put this grid map? Like, what is its actual location here? Oh, it's... It can't, you can't go below zero with it. I don't know why. That's okay, I guess. Um... Yeah, we'll just do that, I guess, as close to zero as we can get it. I don't really like having things not start on uh, an actual round number, though, in case you ever have to snap something to it. It's kind of, like, annoying. Um, so I guess we'll just leave it there, and then we'll move our player spawn up or something like that, which is kind of confusing because... Let's look at the script for the player spawn. Move player up one uh, y axis so it is on the actual level. Well, when they add the player, eventually I'm going to have to like have it. I guess when, hmm, when it adds a player, it should like actually be at a certain position and stuff eventually. But we can just do this for now. Uh, player dot position is it zero one zero? I think it might be maybe sorely mistaken. We'll see. Cool. Um, transform. What what is it called? And also, like, why isn't it? complaining about this. Global transform? Maybe. It's fun to make video games. And definitely know all of the Maybe that's right. Hell if I know. Um, I could just move the player up in their weird, like, scene too, but that's probably not nearly as correct as this solution would be. Eventually the player will need to move to, um, the spawn point anyway, so eventually there'll be more logic to this. Oh, okay. This is getting annoying. ChatGPT will solve this for me. How do I do this shit? Uh, 
intense, but we'll see if it works. It doesn't like that it doesn't have tabbies. It loves tabs. You think it would just transform five spaces into a tab, but it does not. Let's see if this actually does anything. It did. Weird. Okay. So now we can have, uh, hopefully the tiles just go. There we go. Maybe right, it should land on the, actually we'll just. I should land on it now. Try that real. Oak. Oh shit. Okay. Um, now I can get rid of this garbage. Uh, which is my level. Because it was terrible. And we can, okay, so this is where we'll start. And over here is, well, this seems too close. I don't know, here's where we'll end. And I'll just do like a goal, crappy goal post. Oh no, oh no. Just so we know which way we're facing here. So they actually look different. Or I've already forgotten how you do the thing where it changes the layers. I might have to like check my stream for earlier when I figured it out. I thought it was control and mouse wheel, but it's not, it's not shift and mouse wheel. Oh, this is grid map two. Why is it grid map two? Well, we will never know how you change again. Okay, it did it for some reason. Well, that's something we'll figure out later, but for now we should be at least able to see the objective we're trying to get to. So now we can just, oh dear God, what have I done? This game is hard, apparently. There we go. Okay. So now we need uh, cannons shooting at you while you try and do that. So let's uh, we'll try and make, I guess, a cannon that shoots us. That sounds kind of fun. Also, I don't know how to delete things on the grid map either. All right, magical cannon time. But first, more chips. And we say hi to our millions of viewers. Hello, viewers. Ah, uh, good to see you too. Hmm. Uh, that seems more accurate. But since no one's watching, I don't feel bad about eating chips for like a minute straight. And then anyone watching this later is going to be like, is he actually going to eat chips for one minute straight? The answer is probably. They're delicious. 
So, what we need to do next is add, oh, we do have cannon already. Hmm, so the cannon, we need cannonball as well. Cannonball, which is just going to be a a sphere with a collision shape 3D, which will also be a sphere. And then we'll save this as cannonball. And we will, I think it should have more sections in that just because computers are pretty fast now and I don't plan to do crazy lighting or anything that seems fine actually 30 30 this sphere has more polygons than like a half-life one level was even allowed to have so like just this one object is like more than an entire half-life level probably which is pretty cool why is it so angry Collision object, so static body, static body 3D? I don't know if it has to fly through there. What is it technically? Static body can't be moved by external forces. Well, that doesn't seem right at all. Moved, okay. Rigid body seems good. Okay, so I wonder if we should put the script on here. Okay, we need to do, I don't know exactly how this works. Um, but if you're not the server return, I always do guard, guard clauses instead of um, if clauses because it reduces nesting. So if you did this as like a if, then you have an, another indentation, basically lighter code. But if you just do the guard clause, if you're not the multiplayer uh, server return, and then if you do a bunch of guard clauses, all your code doesn't get nested, and it's just much easier to manage. Like, you don't have to worry about it. It's much easier to reason about. Um, so if you're not the multiplayer server return, I think we need a multiplayer synchronizer. I don't know. That's why I don't like this multiplayer stuff like this, because it's too magical. Um... Position. There we go. 
Um, like, I don't really know how you can do this exactly, but this check should only really be done on the server. How do I? I need to like give this uh ChatGPT might know. Let's ask it. With an initial physics impulse, it is a cannonball. <laughs> Wait, I'm supposed to. But. The script goes on the rigid body? That makes no sense. Scene root. Wait, just remove that, add that, delete this, change this to cannonball, I guess. Um, and then it should extend. Body 3D, I believe, and initial impulse seems reasonable. So, the thing we're gonna have to oh, apply impulse, interesting, and then we'll see if the multi player. Oh, I think I just don't have it set right. Um, Out a root. I guess it does need this is going to be weird though because. I don't know what it's talking about. Your meow it's happy. Wait, can I just re add it? Can I just re add it here? Maybe it just glitches out when you do that. Okay. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. There we go. Position. Because we. <clears throat> I think we're only doing the physics simulation on the server. I have no idea. Hopefully. Let's just... <coughs> I'm dying. Slowly. Add this into the world and see what the fuck happens. We can even add a couple players to make sure this is actually doing what we expect it's doing. It probably will not be. Wow, that is quite large. Punk. Shouldn't matter. Paste another one. Why not? Put this one way up here. Let's see what they do. They don't do anything. Well, the one did fall down, I guess, but it's not really exciting. Put it up further. Because, like, did they actually fall down even? Or did they just, like, not do anything? Okay, yeah. Okay, they 
do fall down. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to get two players in there in time to see if they actually do. What is vector three zero equal to? Did I just get stuck on the edge? That was weird. Recurring, recurring impulse, interesting, could be insane, is it going to like fly off now? No, it's there anyway. Time dependent. One time impact. <laughs> I don't know where they went, where they went, so the, the force must have done something on them. player now and check um, if uh, where's the other one that's oh, way up there how do I get like a top view there's gotta be a way to just get like the view of the top right which one of you buttons does that oh here we go Cool, cool. So I'll just start this way back here. The other thing we need to check is like, can I interact with this? Can I actually like stop it? Also like, why can't I move it? Shouldn't I be able to like interact with it?
How does it even make sense? Because that was add player, wasn't it? It moves the add player. That's so weird. So greasy. At least it's synchronized, like it's moving. I have fired myself out of the level. Can I put the boxes? Just like, let me into everything. Just some kind of like, no. It does move. I'm confused why I can't move it. Like, it seems like I should be able to do that. This is like, there's no, should it just do this after it has them? I don't know why that happens. First guy's fine, second guy's in the level. So the second guy spawning at zero 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 whatever. So that means that like oh it must be because it only does this on my computer. Uh, that's fun. That's a fun thing to have happen. I guess we might be able to get away with just doing this. What what? 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 What just, wait, why was it? Isn't this what we wanted? Mm. Okay, well that should fix it. I don't know why, I didn't think I could do that before. Look, it's pushing me off, and the other guy can see that's pushing me off. Haha! -ha. Oh, it didn't. But now the other guy can't push it back. Is it just super heavy? Why would it be so. Oh shit. Why would it be so heavy? How does this make any doubt? Goddamn sense. Um. My, it affects my players physically, the cannonball, but my players cannot push it when walking into it, why? Like, unless its mass is so high. This is the rigid body 3D. Oh. I think I might know.
I can't remember what mass does. I hate how this is done. Like, this should be like an enum. Hey, there you go. No, never mind. I love how it's done now. I love it. I don't know why they do this interface, but. I just thought you couldn't do, you couldn't do the alias names. Um, so, what are the names? Player one should be players, I think. Well, if I name it, this doesn't. Okay. Where's the two, two is player, I think, actually. One's world. Two is player? Maybe? I have to think about this. Player is on layer two. Mask is what they interact with, I think. should work. They're on layer two and they interact with layer one. This thing's on layer one and interacts with layer one and layer two. Oh. It does hit me, but I can't move it. So you can see it does actually interact with me. Like, oh, I can't, can't do anything with this. Hmm. Let's check our many viewers to see what they think we should do here. Help me. Help me, dear God. I know you're a dope programmer. You were just shooting, laughing at my struggles. Um, if anyone knows how to fix this, that would save me some time. I mean, I'll get it eventually, but, uh, it could also be something to do with the weight of the player. Like, maybe he just doesn't weigh much, but I don't actually know where that setting is here. Wait. Is grounded mean he just, like, can never... Hmm. What does that mean? Where's like the weight and stuff of this guy? Hmm. What is 
this actually? What is this thing called here? Character body 3D. Shit. These guys are dicks. If it had been called Kinematic Body 3D, I would have known that it probably wouldn't work. Um, because kinematic bodies aren't really physics objects. Hmm. See, this guy might need a, I don't even know what custom solver bias is. Um, I might need to redo what the player actually is physically. using move and slide anyway. Move and slide. Hmm. Players might need to be rigid body 3Ds and then it might need to apply an impulse instead of just like affecting the velocity exactly. They've abandoned me. That could work, that could work. It returns true, the body collided.
because we need. Get slide collision. I think this should work. Like, we can just have it. Try it. Oops. Let's see if we can just make it do this. What was that command? Slide collision. It's angry. Direction shadowing something. Collision Collider. We'll do a group for the cannonball <clears throat> now that we're learning how things actually work and stuff. Wait. I have no groups. Don't, don't I use groups? Do I not use groups? I thought I used groups for like. I thought I used groups for a bunch of stuff. Yeah, is in group. Player cube. Do I only use it for player cubes? Gameplay cube, group, player cube. Okay, thank God. They didn't like reset themselves or do something crazy. Um. And ball. Save. Fold it. Cannonball. What argument do you need? Slide collision count minus one. Holy. Seems like a weird way to do it, but okay. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can move the cannonball. Perfect. Collider. Um, there's some 
checks when they get here, but maybe uh, ChatGPT can just solve it for us instead of me figuring out what they all will be. Um, okay. What does this get exactly? Kinematic Collision 3D. Hmm. So maybe, maybe the group should be on here? Like it's weird that it like if it's getting the collision, it should do dot get parent, and I think it should always have a parent, um, and it should just be collision because like why would that not be the collider? Like unless it gets the root node for some reason. Not a function. Is it get? No, oh, it is there. Get parent. dot collider is just wrong and it must have this like i believe if there's a collision how would you have a collision with something that doesn't have a collider but i guess we'll find out how that's possible
did put that uh, on the group. We should print uh, the name of whatever the collision get collider name is. Because it's supposed to be an object, right? Here's the name. I love, I love how It's like, I don't seem to be able to run into this thing. What is the size of my physics body on this thing? Collision shape. That's me really doing something wrong here. It just seems like it doesn't really work right. Maybe there's a way to do it, but maybe apply impulse isn't right. Hmm. Or maybe that command's just not right, like that uh, command here, like maybe this isn't doing anything. I guess I could try it with... Um, you could try it with this. Vector 3, 0, 1, 1. Well, I guess it do, it won't work anyway because um, you could you saw it was like very uh, intermittent anyway when it was actually detecting when it actually like when you were against it. So odds of this uh, working correctly, basically nothing zero. It might just glitchily glitchy trigger it. There it goes. You've been glitchily triggered, but it seems like the thing to do would be to make the player an actual physics object. Yeah. Yeah. It's like way too glitchy to use. Um. the cannonballs margins and stuff Yeah, I think I want a rigid body 3D for the player, which is going to be quite interesting. I don't know what's going to happen when I do that.
the player synchronizer is going to complain again because it seems to whenever you you do the root. I don't know what the body actually does. Um, what what the player kinetic body does exactly. Um, I'm not sure why they typically use that. Uh, to me, it seems. Oh, whoops. What am I doing here? This is probably... Like, I get that it's a kinematic body. I guess that's what it is. It's just a kinematic body, but they named it player body, which makes no sense to me. Because it's a kinematic body. It's not a player body. That's, like, really strange renaming. Kinematic body is something you control, like the absolute position of it instead of the physics engine doing it, and a player body means nothing. Um, so I don't know why they renamed it. I don't know, I don't think this will quite work. Um, script inherit, so rigid body 3D. Uh, like the way that we're actually interacting with the player like this, like you can't do velocity. Um, it's going to have to be something like impulses instead of uh, velocity. And like the reason you wouldn't normally do this stuff is like over a network, it would be tough to simulate the player. But since I'm trusting the client, because this isn't really a real project, um, the client can simulate the physics and then just send it back to the server, which makes it a lot easier to do this. Uh, smoothly. Um, I'm not really sure how this works. Like maybe it does simulate it all on the server. I have no idea. Also, I'm not really sure how like rotation will work. It's going to be quite interesting. Also, it hates everything apparently. It's on floor. Left, up, down. Sure it is, because it's 9.8. There we go. Is on floor. Is on floor must be a helper function. Mm 
that we'll have to I think apply impulse is not a real um The opposite of gravity. Max speed. We'll just, I guess we'll just do cons for that. Well, it's just speed. Let's we'll just do max speed. Cons speed. Five. Speed impulse probably. Uh, actually and now we see what the hell we have oh dear god what's happening to me Basically, actually, this is going to be interesting. I don't know with something like this if you can, because um, it's a capsule, so it wants to fall over, right? Um, forces is but sounds cool let's see if Chacha Patinos was talking about usually does not is there a way to like find and replace these how do I like replace it there's a tab can I not, can I not replace it Fun. Wonder what this integrate forces thing actually is.
get contact now. see hmm faith in this working quite low I don't think I can actually like rotate because I don't think that that's like really in there oh I don't know is this is this actually how slow I move why do I... Why do I move forward so fast? I wonder if I can get the other player in there. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, that's actually closer than I thought it would be. Um... I wonder if jumping works. Uh, uh, jumping doesn't do anything. S seems to really like to move. A is pretty good. Yeah. Um, cool. Doesn't LV need like a bar? Like why is it just like, oh, it's already, there it is, linear velocity. Um, yeah, that's promising, it's promising. Um, how does the rotation of the, should this, Maybe because the player... Should just rotate the camera though. So why... Why would it not rotate the camera? Is it, is it rotating the camera? Is it, does it just like get reset? physics actually feel a lot better than the kinematic body though uh, besides it like not working quite correctly but that's probably a good place to end the stream i mean like this control method i think is actually probably going to end up being better um which is kind of weird but because then like the players will be physics objects and you can kind of have more fun with them in the physics world they'll actually be affected by the physics properly more so um i'll probably have to go through this and like figure out how to make it actually be like controlled normally um, which might take a little bit um, I could probably look up a tutorial for like an impulse based player controller and just kind of throw it in here which will be cool oh wait um, I'm not sure if this needs to be here or not uh, might need to be in there yeah, so I'll just do that, and then we'll have players that can actually be hit with the cannonballs, and then we'll make the cannonball thing shoot at them, and the game should be like somewhat playable at that point. So, cool. Thanks for watching the amazing Dream Stream. Uh, Loco's Dream Stream. Um, hey, look, there's more people. How do you use RPG Maker? God, I don't know. Is it good deal a good game engine? Um, I have no idea how to use RPG Maker, because I don't use RPG Maker, um, so 
like how would I know? Uh, yeah, that's probably pretty much it. Everyone only comes at the end, and then I can't uh, do anything at the end. Because um, I have to sleep. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. So around the same time as the stream started. And I will catch you guys then. And uh, yeah, we'll do more work on this and see if we can actually get it so we can play it. All right.